What do I say? Shit, here we go. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to... Hi guys, welcome to CYC. Hello guys. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to CYC. This is Chase, and we're here to get deep inside of you. Yeah, Craigslist just never seems to work out for me. <laughs> so we're back, and today I want to talk to you about routines. Now you've heard multiple ways of how to build routines, why to build routines, all of that. Today I just want to leave you with two perspectives. Number one, building a routine is an act of chaos, not of order. And number two is that you build a routine not to feel secure and safe, but to feel powerful and strong so you can push forward and take on more chaos, more responsibility, whatever it is. So I'm calling routines chaotic when you're used to them being referred to as safe and stable. And that's kind of confusing. Now, while routines are safe, building a routine should always be viewed as an act of chaos. If you are not used to getting up like two hours earlier or you're not used to exercising or meditating, whatever it is, you don't know how you'll respond. It's an unknown and chaos is an unknown, it's an undefined. You have to work with yourself, you have to listen to yourself. You cannot be a tyrant that just imposes order onto your life. That's not going to work. You have to negotiate. Even with that like little chaotic monkey in the background that doesn't let you pay attention. Even with him, you got to work with him. Because in case you haven't realized it yet, you're not exactly in control. You can tell yourself to do something a hundred times and there's still a solid chance that you won't. There's a really good uh, phrase that says, you're a bad boss and a worse employee. And I love that. Now, what should a routine look like? Well, I'll do a full video on that at a later date, but it all depends on how you start your day and how you end it. If you start your day with energy, it's actually kind of hard to slow down, as long as you have like a goal and direction. And then how you end your day kind of dictates how smoothly the start of your next day will be. But also, there's research that shows that it's really important, your last thoughts, your last actions before you go to bed are surprisingly important. Again, a different video though. So the next time you find yourself trying to start a new routine, here are three tips. Number one, have a to-do list. This can be in your morning routine or your night routine. Negotiate that with yourself, but have a to-do list. Number two, wake up earlier. I know it's difficult, but if you are waking up because you have to, because you have to go to work or whatever it is, it's not going to be long before you just don't like waking up and you're going to want to stay asleep. And you're going to start romanticizing an eternal sleep like a coma. And everything after that will be personalized to you. You want to exercise more, read more, you want to drink more water. By the way, drink more water. But whatever it is, tip number three is start small and notice all the little improvements. It's our natural instinct to kind of turn away from failure to say, I'm not that guy, I guess I'm not good at it. That's just not me. And don't do that, don't let yourself do that. You have to be able to look at the failure and just look at the gray in between. Did you fail one shade of gray lighter today than you did yesterday? And if so, that's success. In my book, that's success. Because again, we're not here to impose order and force it. And if you didn't get it, well then you failed. That's not it, because that doesn't work. You have to negotiate and find your own way of incorporating this routine into your life. And you have to negotiate with that chaotic little monkey or whatever it is. You have to find ways of pleasing him, of teaching him that, hey, this is actually for the better and this lets us get other things or whatever it is. It's a, it's a conversation and that's just difficult, but it's the way it is. But while you're building this routine, just remember why you're doing it. You're doing it because you're a badass because you want more, because you're trying to build something, because you want new friends, a new hobby, you want to start a new business, whatever it is, you're trying to push forward into the unknown, into life, and you want to feel unshakable, unstoppable, you want to feel on top of the world, and a routine helps with that. And that's why you're building it, not to feel safe or secure and nice and have everything sorted out, it's not for that, it's for more. So guys, if you like the video, show the support. If you want to see more of the videos, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you next week on the Tuesday. Thank God we are back. This is amazing. <laughs>